We are here in Madrid at the FT Spain Summit where we're talking about the future of the Spanish economy. And we are joined today by Luis de Guindos, the Minister for the Economy. Minister, you were saying earlier in the conference that in 2012, Spain was on the brink of collapse. It was only manufacturing misery. Yet now Spain is growing at one of the fastest rates in the European economy, uh, about 3.5% this year. To what do you attribute this turnaround? I think that there are two uh, concrete and particular reforms that were especially important for the, for the Spanish economy. The first one was the labour market reform. That was a very important, important helping hand in order to regain competitiveness. Now in Spain we have a current account surplus. The evolution of exports is uh, really bright. We are outperforming our peers. We are growing much faster than world trade. And I think that this is something that has been perceived, that Spain is competitive again, that we have recovered uh, the competitiveness that we lost since we joined the, the, the Eurozone until the beginning of the crisis. And I think that this is quite relevant. And I think that the second reform in order to understand the turnaround of the Spanish economy is uh, the, the financial sector reform, the banking, the banking reform. We increased uh, the provisions, we adjusted uh, the value of the banking assets to the reality of the marketplace, we increased the capital, we incorporated a bad bank. Well, all these uh, reforms have given rise to a much healthier uh, bank uh, sector and simultaneously what we have started to see is that uh, funding is again on the rise, clearly, especially for households and for small and medium corporations. So I think that these two forces explain uh, the recovery of confidence and the recovery of the Spanish economy. You were talking about the labour market reform, but unemployment in Spain is still frighteningly high at about 22%, and it's particularly severe amongst the young. Mm -hmm. What more can the government do to create or help create jobs? I think that the labour market reform that we pursued, that we, we approved, was uh, vital in several areas. For instance, uh, in, the, in, the, in the wage settlement process, we decentralised uh, this uh, 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 collective negotiation uh, uh, instrument, and I think that it has given good results. Also, we increased the possibility of further flexibility at the corporate level to reallocate resources, and even we've breached the gap between insiders and outsiders, and these reforms go in the right direction. And we have started to, to reap the fruits of this, of this policy. In the future, as you have said, we have uh, an extremely high unemployment rate. We need not only to create new jobs, that is something that is vital, but also especially to increase and to improve the employability of the long-term unemployment in Spain. Almost two-thirds of the unemployed labour force in Spain are long-term unemployed. And uh, I think that uh, this is vital because many of them come from the, from the construction sector and you need to, to improve, to enhance their employability and their uh, skills uh, in order to be uh, uh, employed in other, uh, in other areas of the Spanish economy. I think that uh, education, dual formation and active labour policies are going to be key over the next quarters. Now, we are about two months away from national elections in Spain and the polls at the moment are suggesting that there will be a coalition government next. Mm -hmm. To what extent do you think there's a danger of a rollback of the reform programme that Spain has gone through? Well, I think that uh, you know, to, to, to unravel the, the, the reforms could be suicidal. Huh? So I think that there is only a way forward. This con to, con to continue with uh, the reform agenda that this government has implemented, we have to continue reducing the, 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 the fiscal deficit, the public deficit, just to remember that in 2011 we had a public deficit of 9% and this year is going to be 4.2% and I think that uh, you know, fiscal discipline is going to be important. And simultaneously I think that there are second generation reforms hmm, that have to be implemented in future, the future. The reform agenda has to be a continuous effort. Hmm. You cannot uh, stop because if you stop then you start to, 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 to go back. Hmm. And I think that this is something that we have to, to, to avoid. The main risk uh, uh, for, for the future of the Spanish economy is, as I have said, to undo, to unravel the reforms. I think that uh, the Spanish society knows perfectly uh, the situation that we had to, to confront only three, four years ago, and that uh, today the future is much brighter than it was. And I, so I think that uh, the Spanish, the Spanish uh, society will reflect uh, on, the, on, the, on the elections, uh, you know, this perception. I am totally convinced. Thank you very much, Minister. It has been my pleasure.